Thank you to everybody involved. The club here, all the Dirty Fagan and the staff, all the guys who were very good here over the weekend. Great. <laughs> so he's, he's one of our, you know, one of the founders of, of this association going back years ago. He refereed all over the place and for the ladies' sport in every county in, in, in the country. So thanks to Larry for everything. He's still here. We're delighted to have him here. So give him a round of applause. Guys. I'm also delighted to have Dear Dohini, Councillor Dear Dohini, for the fourth year in a row. She's been excellent and very supportive to us in women's skill sports here in Ireland. And because of her, going back four years, a lot has progressed in what we're doing here in Ireland for ladies' skill sports. And she's representing the Lord Mayor here today, um, Niall Ring, isn't it? The new Lord Mayor. So, and of course, I want to say thanks to Mick as ever, for all these videotaping and photographs and all this type of stuff, and he does great work on behalf of ourselves here at Welling Fuel Sports. So, so, so with that, I'm going to call upon Deirdre to come over here, and we're going to do the presentations. Dave Seals, and Joe Lyons. Okay, also receiving a medal here in the competition is Valerie Maloney. Well, <laughs> Now we went to the, the six red competition, the final was played here today. We went all the way to the last frame, and we want to congratulate Tina on reaching the final. Second year in a row. Well done, Katie French. Max, well done, Max. International champion Michelle O'Brien. Well done. Michelle. So now we're to the main event, and we have our, our quarter finalists. 
and we have Rose Young from the Rich. <laughs> Semi-finals Irish Open is an F, Ned Newman. Shannon Metcalf. I am again really pleased to be here um, for the fourth year on behalf of the Lord Mayor to present the um, prizes and the medals and the trophies to all the participants, the runners up and the winners of this international ladies snooker competition. Um, I think the fact that this um, establishment here at Joey's has consistently been supportive of um, Irish uh, ladies snooker is I suppose something that has to be commended and I certainly I suppose very positively, positively identify uh, with Joey's because of the support that they continuously give to this um, international event so I think you know a round of applause should be given yeah. to <laughs> And also to your own organisation and to Dan Carroll and to Margaret Brown and other people who are consistently encouraging people, especially young women, um, in their game of snooker. I think the fact that um, women's sport doesn't get, I believe and we all know, its fair share of funding and recognition um, from whatever body is funding sport 
and indeed from our national broadcaster, uh, there isn't, uh, I suppose, equality in sport for women. There's been a lot of campaigns in the last couple of years about equality, um, but I think equality um, goes across the board and it should include equality in sport and recognition of women in sport no matter what the sport is. And certainly um, snooker is always viewed, ex in my experience, as a, a very strongly male orientated sport. So I have huge, I suppose, admiration for the women and particularly the young women that are involved in this sport. So well done. Um, and thanks for asking me um, to come along um, to present the prizes on behalf of the Lord Mayor. I'm really pleased to be here and I look forward to supporting all of you in whatever way I can and whatever way the City Council can um, going forward. So well done and thank you very much for the Can I say something, please? Yeah, I'd like to thank you, Deirdre, because from day one you've come along and supported our event, you've supported our Ladies' Association. So we'd just like to say thank you for a small gift, just to show our appreciation. So, and another thank you goes to Dan, who. We know all the hard work behind the scenes, we know all the grief that you get from the women, all the women <laughs> and all the crying from us all, and you take it all on board. But thanks for everything. But uh, again, Deirdre has always been ex extremely supportive and we really appreciate you representing the Lord Mayor here, taking time out to be here again on, on our fort. And please God, we'll be back again on the 5th next year here, with more players involved and maybe more players from around the world. We've had 11 countries take part in the last four years, with 55 entries in total over the last four years as well, which, which is great for women's skill sports, you know, and about creating the different levels you know, letting the girls play at six spread or an intermediate or whatever at the top professional, semi-professional level is all important. It's all important for the promotion of the sport. And please God, in the next five to ten years, that we will see huge improvements as far as funding is concerned, as Deirdre said. And it's only through media attention and people getting to, to know it at government level, I suppose, that's when it will all happen. You know, things are moving in the right direction. For as I said earlier on, I can't say too much about it. But um, we're, we're, we've already met with Sport Ireland, that came to, to Deirdre's involvement uh, there last November. And then today, we're actually filling a huge sector here in Ireland as far as special needs, juniors, and women's skill sports is concerned. So they recognise that and they acknowledge that. So we're hoping that things will move on, that we can coexist with the other governing body because they're the funded ones. We're not looking for a penny funding, but we'll try and get some sponsorship later on because they'll only fund one body. So, as I said, hope things will move on in the right direction. So again, thanks to everybody. Thanks a lot for everything and I really appreciate it. Hope to see Each and every one of you, especially our, our, our ladies and, and families and all that came across from the UK. You're Took right. the time out.